The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Look at this picture of a beautiful morning sent to us from Cindy in Blacksburg. This, of course, uh, sent to us via pin at WSLS.com slash pins. You can see some fog out there. You can see some sunshine, some clouds, and, of course, beautiful fall foliage. Speaking of fall foliage, the current foliage report has areas of the highlands, southern Shenandoah, New River Valley, and Mountain Empire peaking. OK, so it doesn't get much better than the color outside right now in the mountains. Now you do have medium color towards Lynchburg and also towards South Side, uh, even towards the Piedmont. You're seeing quite a bit of color right now, not as much as in the mountains, but rest assured your time will come over the next five to 10 days a little bit further to the east. Want to show you the radar and friends, you'll notice that we do have a couple of little showers towards West Virginia. I do want to expand this picture for you and show you that we are indeed watching a little bit more rain out in areas to the west of us. There's not a ton of rain right now. It looks like we've got a couple of showers extending from Pittsburgh all the way west towards areas, say, near Pine Bluff and Arkansas. This is our next frontal boundary. Thing is, it's going to have a hard time getting in here until high pressure moves out of the way, and that should happen for us here as we head into early next week. So our next cold front is a big one. It is going to produce rain. It's going to cool us down, and it's going to produce a whole lot of wind, too. So it does look like the best chance for rain with this next front will come on Tuesday. Okay, about a 40 to 50 percent chance for some scattered showers hours on Tuesday. Of course, that's Halloween. I'm cautiously optimistic that most, perhaps not all, but most of the rain will be gone by the time the trick or treaters head out and about. Certainly looks like the wettest part of Tuesday will be in the morning and afternoon hours. And then yes, wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour will enter after the front. Right now it is 70 in Withville, 66 in Hot Springs, 80 in Roanoke, 78 in Lynchburg. It is 76 as we speak in Danville. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone, 79 in the NRV, 81 Covington, Clifton Forge, cooler in Highland and Bath County. 84 tomorrow, Roanoke and Southside. You may get as warm as 85 in Lynchburg. We're going to be about two to three degrees away from breaking records tomorrow. So while it's not a high likelihood we do that, can't be ruled out. For tonight, we're looking at overnight lows anywhere between about 55 and 60. For tomorrow, <laughs> more and more 80s for us, no doubt. You're in the 70s for the most part in the mountains, higher elevations, uh, but further to the east, you're well into the 80s. Okay, it is going to be uh, feeling like a Labor Day weekend outside for us here on Saturday. Lower 80s on Sunday, 70s Monday. And then you want cold air? We got that for you too. Look at Wednesday. Woo boy, 49 for a high. Then we're close to 60 again one week from today. Best chance for rain over the next seven days. Tuesday, we'll see more sun Wednesday through Friday.